Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with another video. This one's been a video I've been wanting to do for a while now, but just, uh, you know, the way things go, the way things work, uh, some things tend to get put on the back burner till a later date. Of course, with our wonderful world we have, all the online shopping and that, you see all sorts of good stuff on the uh, computer to buy. And sometimes, you know, you buy one package and, you know, that's decent. Then you see something else you want, right? So you buy it too, and okay, you got two of them. And then you find another item you want, and you buy that too. Well, then you see something else you've been wanting for a while to complement, uh, you know, something you've recently bought uh, online. So of course, you buy that too. And then you play the big, big waiting game of uh, them to arrive, hoping they don't get lost in, you know, shipping or don't get stopped at the border or, you know, charged, uh, you know, big, big bucks for, uh, you know, duty and all that. Well, that when, uh, when half your order or so finally arrives, you get kind of excited. You have enough stuff here to uh, complete a project uh, to make your life a little bit easier for upcoming videos, upcoming, uh, you know, things that are going on. So and then you decide to uh, film yourself an unboxing video. So here in front of us, guys, we have four online packages. We will do an unboxing um, or unpackaging video of them. I'll kind of explain to you uh, what they are and what my intended, uh, you know, use for them are. And, um, you know, kind of see how it goes from there. So, of course, the first uh, package here is in like a little manila envelope. Um, it has, uh, you know, Chinese uh, writing on it and a uh, basically a non-delivery uh, sticker to it. Basically to send her back to where she came from. Well, we'll tear on into her. Like many of us uh, with devices that use this item, um, over time they tend to wear out, or at least uh, with mine they do anyway. Well, this one here is your standard, um, you know, USB charger. Um, basically, this is for the iPhone uh, 4 4S. I imagine it'll probably work the same on an iPhone 5 as well as uh, other USB power devices, whether it's a uh, camera, um, you know, cell phone, anything else that takes a USB charging cord. I bought some from another uh, website that was a little bit cheaper than this one. However, it must be the milliamps or whatever that it charges on, but it takes forever to charge your phone. This one here has a 5 volt, 1 amp uh, charging output, and of course, um, you know, the camera ain't going to be able to focus on that, but it is made in China. The other one I have has the same markings on the back that this one does, but it may, uh, it might be slightly defective, and that's why it doesn't uh, charge at the full rate. I can plug my cell phone in at like 50% in there. Uh, go to bed for the night, wake up in the morning, and it's only at like 80%, so it didn't even fully charge. Where the authentic, if you could call it authentic, iPhone charger um, can charge your cell phone from like a dead state, and I swear 20 minutes, half hour, you know? Well, the next one here, of course, is another one of those uh, manila type envelopes. Uh, Chinese writing on it, and all that good stuff. Well, this one here is a small little uh, package. Um, as you see there, it kind of looks like a valve stem core tool or uh, some type of uh, brass uh, fitting. Well, that's essentially uh, what it is, is a brass type fitting. Don't know if this camera going to focus on her. But as you see there, you have the quarter inch top uh, bolt for a camera. And the bottom, you got a bigger hole. Well, you're asking yourself, well, why do you have a bigger hole on the bottom than the top? Well, this essentially is an adapter to adapt a 3 8 bolt to a quarter inch, um, you know, camera mount, right? Now, I thought about building myself something, of course. However, by the time I welded a 3 8 nut onto a quarter inch bolt, you know, um, it was just easier to go online and buy this and wait for the waiting time because, well, really, I don't, it wasn't in a really, really big hurry to, you know, have this get here, right? So, of course, that's item number two. So, item number three. 
for those of you that are sports enthusiasts, you will probably recognize this right off the bat. Uh, same um, manila type envelope, but this time here it didn't come from uh, China. This one came out of uh, Fremont, California. There was a little bit of shipping on this one I had to pay, but at the same time um, I opted for the aluminum brackets over the plastic one because, well, um, you know, the aluminum you'd think would last a little longer and be a little more durable. Well, like I said here, we have ourselves the GoPro um, extension kind of arm, if you will. By uh, combining, you know, the, the bolts together, you make yourself... Um, I believe it was a 12 inch arm to adjust your camera up at the right angle, you know, give it a little bit of reach out there and stuff like that. The kit, um, if you will, even came with three of the thumb screws as well as a little rubber o-ring and the little acorn nuts. So, you know, for the price I paid for these, um, it was well worth, you know, the bonus of having these in here as well. And of course, the last item, but not least, is uh, something I've been wanting for a while. My unboxing corner that I've got in my new office is okay and all. However, my light source that I've been using is um, just uh, basically a standard uh, work light. And it does work okay. It's just awkward to uh, have to film around. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's listed on here as a lighting accessory. So this has been something I've been wanting for a, a bit of a while, regardless of whether I used it for unboxing or not. And recently with my um, recent acquisition, the uh, camera, you know, handle that I bought here, uh, uh, well, it would be three months ago now, um, something like this goes with the camera handle to add extra video, extra light when you're shooting in darker areas. So, of course, here, guys, we have ourselves an LED video light. Uh, this one here is a double a W126. Um, it comes with uh, various filter plates, as well as to change the coloring of your light. Um, kind of add a special uh, effect or kind of a different feeling to your shot, if you will. It runs on six AA batteries, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's okay. So of course here, just tear on into her and uh, kind of get a first glance at uh, you know what she looks like. In the back here, you see your um, you know battery port here. You got yourself your hot shoe uh, mount, both a, a quarter inch bolt here. You could actually use this for a camera mount if you really wanted to. And of course at the bottom is a threaded area for the hot shoe or you could put it even on a tripod so it's a multiple use uh, you know uh, mount if you will. You have a lighting uh, density off and on switch and it gets brighter as you uh, turn it on. And of course you have the LEDs uh, you know basically right here. Uh, wonderful um, you know instruction book and of course these are your different uh, shades for your lighting to give different colorings as well. But guys, that's pretty much been the online shopping spree that I've been on the last couple of months. Um, various pieces, uh, various parts for upcoming projects, upcoming, uh, you know, things to make my um, hobby here on the old YouTubes to be a little more enjoyable, a little more easier. Of course, uh, stay tuned to this channel because there will be uh, a few projects coming up here where I actually take some of these items that I buy and uh, put them to use. Uh, there'll be a few changes to the old um, you know, lighting station here in the office to get some better lighting to make uh, you know, little better videos and stuff like that. So as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.